right, so we talked a little bit about Google Documents. Now we're going to talk about Microsoft SkyDrive. And all I did is I went to my address bar and I typed in skydrive.com and it populated with that long link. Um, but I currently do not have an account for SkyDrive. So before we can sign in, we need to sign up. And to sign up, you have to have an email account. You could use the Microsoft Live account. Um, I do not have a Microsoft Live email with the 41 read, um, so I'm going to use my Gmail. So I'm going to fill this out real quick and then show you the next screen. All right, so once I fill out the form, it wants to verify my email. So I can go log into my email real quick and just click on the link to verify my account. And once we verify my account, it's going to allow me to log into my SkyDrive. So I'm verified. Now that I'm verified, you notice very similar to the Google Drive, all of these that we're going to see, these cloud storage components are all going to share very similar aspects just because they're doing basically the same thing. There's just different ways of doing it. Um, now what's special about the Microsoft SkyDrive is it integrates the Microsoft Office suite so it's going to be a little bit better, more productive uh, application than the Google Docs. So we can create a new doc. We're going to just do a Word document and we'll say document one, why not? So when I create that, it's going to open up a web interface of Microsoft Office. So this is a lot more robust than the Google Documents we saw. It's got pretty much everything Microsoft Office has in it. So this is a way, um, I don't want to say to get around not having Microsoft Office, but it's um, a better way if you're moving from computer to computer or somewhere that doesn't have Microsoft Office, you could use these applications online. Um, we can also share these documents. So as soon as we had a document that came up, we could go back to, I can just close this, but I don't want to close it up here, sorry. We're going to click the X over here. Once we click that X, it's just going to basically close the document and pull it right here. I can right click on the document, just like we do within Windows itself, and share. And I can allow recipients to edit and make them sign in and I like to do the one that makes them sign in just because it's more secure and it makes sure whoever you're sending this to is in fact actually editing that document so I could just type in an email I could put a message if I'd like click share and then they would have access to either edit or view whether that box is checked or not um, there's also a folder for pictures and the public is something that people can see without necessarily having access to it so be careful what you do put in the public folder. Um, just like we had Word, they have Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. Um, there is a limit to the upload files, which, um, oops, I'll just go to Google Drive. Let's say I wanted to upload this file right here. It uploads it within this web interface, and there is a limit, I believe, of 300 megabytes, which is in my other table I have that you'll see. So here's that um, file we made within Google Docs. I can come in here and I could click and edit, I believe. Open in Word. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get out of this document and we're going to go back. And again, if I have a certain document that's shared, I can see it. I can have groups. I can have, I can download, and this is the next step. I can download SkyDrive just like I did with Google Drive. And just like you can with a lot of the other um, cloud storage th uh, programs. So whenever this program gets done downloading, it's going to put a folder on my computer. And we'll be able to drag and drop things in there or edit straight from that folder and not have to be connected to the internet if uh, you happen to be on a plane or somewhere that doesn't have internet access. So we're going to install SkyDrive. Alright, so this is just telling us we can have this app on a laptop, on a desktop, on a phone or tablet, and everything will be integrated as well as be able to open and edit. So I'm going to type in my email here and my password to prove that it's me. Sign in. And you could have used any other email, I just used my Gmail. Alright, so notice where it's storing this folder, it's going to put it in our uh, users folder, the name of the account we're logged in as, and then a SkyDrive folder. So I'm going to make these files available on other devices. Done. And 
and just in case I'll open up my computer and then there is my SkyDrive account so right now I didn't have anything in it other than that one document and you can just see it pre-populated so it does take a little a few seconds it's not necessarily instant um, but I could open that document that we created in Word I can make a change from my desktop close it and then I, I do want to save the changes after I save the changes I can go back into my files for my SkyDrive open that document and then see that it should have been changed I might have opened it too soon so try it now and there's the changes that I just typed from my desktop so this is very robust program um, we can edit it in the browser and that will open up that Microsoft Word interface we saw and do anything we need to do in Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Oop, I just closed my SkyDrive. Um, other than that, this you see we have seven gigabytes available. Um, as we add programs, we can change the view as well. I can get a list view. I can have that metro view that Windows is switching to as well as add a pane over here so when I click on something oops let's go back be careful not to click the X if I opened a folder there's nothing in there so it's not allowing me to open it um, I can delete rename move it I can move a folder within another folder create folders things like that so just like Google Documents if you have any questions with this um, I do have a little bit of experience not too much I tend to stay with the Google side just because it's more robust for everything I need it to do. Depending on your application, this may be a little more um, for you, I guess. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Send me an email. Be happy to help as much as I can. Thank you.